Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel in this video I'll show you what a footer box widget is and how to use it and also I'm going to show you a difference uh, when I don't use how different it looks and by using it how uh, clean your layout looks so if you look at the demo page in my emulator uh, it's, it's a simple page where uh, when you do a Google search on your tablet or mobile saying I'm looking for a nearby saloon or a pastry shop it gives you these kind of list items with the strips saying okay uh, this is the review and this is a distance and a small picture of the shop or the product that you're looking for so I thought I'll use a fitted box image and show you how this looks so first thing I'm going to clear this template and create a page where I'm not using a fitted box okay so here I have a very bare bone template so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to create I've already created a list view which is a vertical direction and um, I have a container so this is my main container now inside this container I'm going to add a material widget and inside this material widget First, I'm going to give a few factors for my widget, which is like um, the color, white, elevation, and the border radius, so that I can get that rounded effect. So I'm just going to add those factors. So the first one is, so the first one is color white, elevation 14, and the border radius. Then inside this, I'm also going to give another factor, which is nothing but a shadow factor. That's the shadow color. Now this makes up your material. Now inside this, I'm going to create a row component or a row widget. Uh, which has an array of children widgets. And inside this, I have two containers. So the first container is um, the details of your search. And the next one is the next container is your image. So the de detail section, I've already created a custom function. So I'm just going to use the function. So it's a container and the child component is nothing but my detail container. Okay, there you go. And now my image container. So this container is nothing but a simple container with a clip or rect so that I get that clipping according to the material you see here it's not a rectangular image you see the it goes according to the material it gets clipped so to give this clipping part I'm adding a clip or rect widget so I'm using a clip or rect widget with few factors like your border radius so I'm giving the same border radius as the um, material so I'm just gonna add that and inside this I'm gonna add a image and this image is uh, an image from the network so I'm just uh, gonna use that okay there you go uh, so there you go and I've cleared up a few closing braces and this is what it is. So I have a main container inside which it is a material and with a detail section and an image section. And now if I do a hot reload, you can see well, you can see the output bare. The material is this one and the image takes the entire space depending on the image width and height so this is not getting fitted now the moment i use or i enclose my material inside the fitted box it actually scales and clips your child so this is the child it scales and clips the child with its scope so i'm just going to add it and you will see the difference so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the main container and below this i'm going to add a fitted box and I'm gonna close the fitted box so the moment I do this and if I do a hot restart well there you go you can see that now this entire container gets fitted 
I mean the child gets scaled and positioned as per the parent container. Now there are two factors. Say for example, this is your parent container. This container does not have any external parameters or constraints on it. So then what happens is when there is no constraint, it goes same as your child size. That is this one, the material. If there are some constraints, say if I add some width and height, then it's the child is going to get adjusted as per the container. Now I'm going to add few more factors to this so that I will get this as per my requirement. So I'm just going to add the box width fit as contain and align it to the top right and add some width and height parameter. You will see the change. So I'm going to add some constraints on this container and I'm also going to add um, a fit with a box fit. There are a lot of um, factors for this box fit. You could use contain, you have cover, fill, fit width, height. So just play around with these values. You will see how your image or your child container varies. So I'm going to use contain and I'm also going to use an alignment factor to this, which is going to align it to the top right, depending on your UI. So I'm going to say alignment to top right and then if I do a hard restart. So I'm using all these factors purely for the UI. So if you want it full screen, definitely go around with the height and width parameter, change it. You could do that. So there you go. So you can see that I have fitted this entire container so that it does not overflow my parent container and it gets fitted and scales and gets positioned inside my main container. So this is about fitted box and a few more details about it uh, would be, uh, well, there's one more use case of this fitted box uh, would be is say, for example, you have articles and well, you have an article that has to be displayed the entire cover. So you could use box fit cover and then you have below the article details for that also the box fit really works where you want to um, make sure that your child component gets clipped and positioned inside your main container and not overflowing so in those scenarios you can definitely use um, fitted box and um, also you can uh, check with the contain the box fit values and um, yeah so this is about fitted box and um, uh, if you do like this video give it a like and share and if you find it informative uh, please do share this video and do subscribe to my channel thank you